coming up on this episode of The Village Idiom. You're rocking the boat. Well, that's literally, if there's waves, there's going to be a boat rocking. Right. And if the boat's rocking... Dum, dum, da, da, Village Idiom. Hello and welcome to the Village Idiom. We are a podcast and every week we take a popular saying, take it admittedly shallow, hopefully comedic once while interesting, if we're really lucky, educational dive into its usage, its meaning, its origins, but mostly we're going to use it to hang our otherwise directionless conversation on. My name is Jurassic Mark. And I am Skitty. How are you, brother? It's good, man. Good, good, good. Yes, it's uh, been so gorgeous out there. It has been. Yeah, I've been. This was a good week. Yeah, a- absolutely. I know you often uh, go topless with uh, the Jeep, and I'm like. I almost went topless for this episode. <laughs> yeah? Actually, this is about the color of our skin, so. I just thought it would make a big Im- Yeah, that's true. I just thought it would make a big impact. Like, it would it would <laughs> be the one change, it would change things for us. It would, it would change things. It would send out ripples. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there'd be ripples. Oh, there'd be ripples. <laughs> yeah, a, a wide pan on my body will show you ripples. <laughs> Ripples of flab, <laughs> flipples. Yeah, no, that was my uh, my stupid attempt at introducing today's idiom. Oh, I see. it would have a big impact. Oh, I see. You know what? It's ham-handed, but it's a segue. Yeah. So here, here's. Uh, uh, have you heard of the movie The Terminal List? Terminal List. Yes. With I think Chris Pratt. I don't know, but I've heard of the name. He's going to introduce today's idiom. Perfect. And it goes a little something like this. Hit it. Assassination would make waves. Still no video. They didn't fix that. Anyway, so he said, he said, an assassination would make waves. An assassination making would make waves. waves. So make waves. Yeah, not assassination. It's a what? At first, when I looked at making waves, I'm like, well, there's the obvious, but I'm, I was wondering if there was something deeper about uh, deeper. I get it. Actual making waves. Like what waves, like like hand gestures, oh. and then this idea came to me. Um, I'm in our airplane mode. How's this Wi-Fi possible? Is on. Making waves, like different types of like hand gestures, and then this comedic idea came to me, which I've not seen, and I know you're a dinosaur fan. Imagine a T-Rex doing jazz hands. <laughs> okay. So that Got he's it. like, and I don't know that visual to me of like the. Old timey, like a barber shoppy with a little hat, like this yep. short hat with a brim, it. little cane. Tiny little hands. <laughs> tiny little hands. I thought you were making a different joke because his hands are so tiny that if you waved it all, it'd be a microwave. Oh, I see. No. I was waiting for it. <laughs> no, no microwave. Just it, it's the idea of a T Rex doing yeah. jazz hands. Making waves. Yeah, I, I, it's probably been done. It's too, like, on the, it's too, like, right in front of your face. Yeah. The cane is against his throat because his <laughs> arms are so. He's little jazz hands. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, there's something there that would be amusing to use. Uh, I could see a, a visual gag. Yeah, totally. You yeah. need to just get one of those uh, T Rex inflatable suits. He's making waves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so making waves means causing a disturbance, like uh, yeah. interrupting the flow. That's why I said uh, going doing this episode topless would have made a big impact. It would have made waves. It would have made waves. Now, I did notice, and we'll get into origins, but I did notice when I was looking up this that it's more often said, don't make waves. I found way more references. You should make waves. To not, like, don't make waves. Make waves, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like an encouragement. Yeah, there's a lot more negative you sides the, to it. The flood of happiness. You need to get out there and make some waves, make bro. Make some waves. Some big curlers. This was the example I made note of of how to use it. Lady Gaga made waves when she first came out as an artist wearing a meat dress. Like a positive. Wow. Well, not, it doesn't, it's not positive <laughs> or negative. It's that she impacted pop culture. I, she made some waves. It was controversial. Yeah, so making waves is often controversial, but it's... It disrupts. It it influences more than you want it to. So the next on the making of waves, my mind went to like uh, those pools where they have the wave generators. Oh, yeah, yeah. Making waves. Like a wave pool. That's a good name for it. (laughs) And uh, because I think it was recently in the news, we're talking about rogue waves. I don't know if you're catching these things. No. And so the gist of it is that uh, apparently with frequency... Uh, it happens where uh, waves uh, pile on top of each other and amplify, and out of nowhere comes a larger-than-life one wave. Like, <laughs> and so the waves are doing the, their normal thing, and then one 
double the height wave will come ripping Just like along. the butterfly effect yeah. sort of kind of thing? Yeah, called a rogue wave. Yeah, so where like a fishing vessel or whatever can be... Um, and so as I was looking at it, it, it came up in that show. <laughs> what are you doing to my voice? Uh, I'm trying to fix that it. George Clooney movie, The Perfect Storm. Yeah. Yeah. And there was, uh, they were out there fishing and then this rogue wave came. Oh yeah. Was Mark Wahlberg in that? I don't know. Probably as a dolphin or something. <laughs> what? He, so a rogue wave and then uh, the good. rabbit trail went down to rogue holes. Okay. I don't know this. Okay. Uh, me neither. I didn't n- know much about it. It's, it's like the, holds H O L E S. Yes, it's an it, the inverse of a rogue wave, and so in the ocean. Yes, and so like at whatever point that a rogue hole, the inverse of uh, a, like a whirlpool kind of hole. It, whatever the instead of amplitude, it's like the negative amplitude. So that you know, like the rolling waves of yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah. of an ocean. So the downside of that. Yeah. So the downside of uh, a rogue wave is that these pockets of rogue holes. Wow. So a that rogue, sounds terrifying. A rogue hole would be below sea level, obviously. And then... <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's interesting. I guess that makes sense. If there's a rogue wave that way, it's got to have the... Counterbalance somewhere? Yeah. Weird. I don't I don't know how it... But if claim you... Claim to know how it works. If you didn't see the rogue wave and only saw the rogue hole coming across... Well, if a rogue wave comes at you, I don't know if a rogue hole is behind it or do just rogue holes just... Can, <laughs> Can rogue holes travel on their own, or is there always a rogue? There's a rogue hole in a forest by itself. Does anyone hear it? (laughs) Think about that. (laughs) I don't know what the deal is with just that it came up as well. A rogue hole, huh? I've never heard of that. It's not even funny. It's just interesting. Anyway, rogue holes making waves, making waves. You heard it here. Uh, The clip that came to mind from "Don't Make Waves" was I don't remember from the Lord of the Rings. Very geeky. Got my geek on. Okay, and they're outside of. the the dwarven entrance to the mountain and Merry and Pippin, at least in the movie, are throwing stones and then like Aragorn says to them, Don't like don't disturb the waters. Really? Yeah. Because so, uh, it, that's I, basically don't make waves. Yeah, it was, it's like you don't know what stirs underneath it. But apparently in the book it was Frodo who said it to Boromir. Boromir was like having a tantrum through a big rock in the water. Yeah, I'm 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 not very Lord of the Rings savvy, so why do I bother? The names you're saying, I'm like, yep. Anyways, be. illegitimate children, I'm looking for new friends. And if <laughs> if you have a slightest bit of culture out there, send us uh, a message. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. So Fair Lord enough. of the Rings, Rogue Waves. I didn't know Pokemon last week. <laughs> These conversations, the worst. where are you? I don't know. Get your, your nerdness is, I, I appreciate, is depleting. I, I appreciate it. You've been the, standing out. You've been the short arm T Rex thing. You've been hanging out. Okay, okay. We, you got that. I've been hanging out with what? Like cool people instead of nerds. Are, is there a difference? I, apparently. Well, what would cool people talk about? I, I don't know. You tell me because <laughs> you don't know the nerd stuff anymore. I think, I think it's more that I'm just out of it. You've been anyway. busy doing other things? Yeah. I know. I just like keeping up on your nerd lore. Can't keep up with with the pop culture. Anything. Pop culture. It's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's some old stuff. Well, what's the opposite of pop culture? Old culture. <laughs> I, I History. <laughs> History. Maybe. Yeah, one gets well, a cool name. One does it. It feels like pop culture because it definitely got a new life with all the movies. So what do you think about this then in terms of making waves? Do you feel like as a person and illegitimate children, uh, you can you can chew on this. It's better to just shut up and mind your P's and Q's, mind your no. business, or is it better to make your, your make your opinion known because you have one? That That's a tricky thing to answer because I think if you're making waves in a, for a positive and everybody's going to have a different opinion of what the positive waves yep. are. Yep, they do. So... I think if somebody was making waves trying to make uh, kidnapping really popular, they're really making waves in that kidnapping industry. I think I'd be disappointed. But if they're making waves in In world peace. Oh, they're really making waves in world peace. Yeah. Then great. Yeah. Think of all the the positive making waves things that we've. Yeah. Yeah. Mixing it up a bit. Yeah. I think making waves just means you're rocking the boat. Well. That's literally, if there's waves, there's going to be a boat rocking. Right. And if the boat's rocking. (laughs) (laughs) 
if this boat's a rockin', someone's, someone's making, making waves. waves. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I don't know. There's this, like, is there a timing about when you think making waves is appropriate? I need to make waves about this. I need to. Yeah, I think there is. Like, if there's a, an injustice somewhere, it's time to make some waves. Hmm. If there's people are becoming lackadaisical about a certain issue in in the community it's time to wake some waves open some eyes according to your perspective according to well yeah of course according to my perspective but it will depend on the subject it's like all the waves that are out there in the world current issues and there's two sides of every issue yeah there's a there's a rogue wave and there's a rogue hole (laughs) and when i'm rooting for the wave right because you don't want to be a rogue hole no no I know some rogue holes. <laughs> Let me tell you. The world is full of rogue holes. <laughs> I'd rather people make some ways. And to, to be fair, I'm, I'm a big proponent of freedom of speech and thought. Yeah. And so if just speaking your mind causes waves, I mean, there, there is a time and place. Uh, if, you're just, if your purpose is to make the wave, not what the wave might do, then just be quiet. If all you're doing is kicking the bee's nest with no end result Wait, Even in if you mind. feel that you're on the right side of it, so some people should just shut up? Uh, no, I'm saying if you're on the right side of it, speak your mind. You have the freedom well, We to always speak feel like we're mind. on the right side of it. That's no. why we say it. Yeah, but some people n- don't even believe what they're saying. They just want to make the wave. <laughs> okay. They don't so care they, what the wave does. These folks does. have no conviction about something. Yes, they just they just like wanna, to watch the chaos. Yeah. Then I wish they'd be quiet. But if there's purpose, then I'd like to see your wave. Hmm. And in the meantime, you can just keep it zipped and don't be a rogue hole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh, that's an interesting thought. So <laughs> we've got rogue holes listening today. Our apologies. Going yeah, to be canceled by the rogue holes. <laughs> I guess, I guess not. <laughs> jazz hands. T-Rex jazz hands. That'll fix things. Exactly. Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't know if we accomplished anything in that conversation, but. Yeah, it's. Uh, making waves can be. Because like someone's Lady Gaga home. didn't say anything. Wearing, wait, she didn't voice anything wearing a meat dress. Someone is bound making waves. So it's like, there's a lot of in like pop culture celebrities that make waves just to stay in the news. Sure. They're not really doing anybody any good. So making a, a meat dress, there's going to be a group that's like, that's funny and watching all those people lose their minds over a meat dress. I can't, I can't stop believe- thinking about what that smelled like. She had to wear that through <laughs> what, a whole awards show. <laughs> Raw meat dress. Being attacked by dogs. <laughs> No, so there's going to be one side that says, so finally someone's standing up for big beef. Like, <laughs> the big beef, and she could be our spokeswoman. Where, where's the beef? Where's the beef? She's right Lady there. Gaga's got it. There she is. She's got it all. How many, how many, th- and then there's going to be, how many innocent animals had to die for her to have a meat dress? One. One. It wasn't so innocent. <laughs> he was a bit of a rogue hole himself. Killed several people of the farming community. And so there's going to be, even on that one thing, there's going to be people that feel like they're on the right side of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So just speak, everyone. I mean, if everyone can speak, I think the truth will rise to the surface. If nobody can, because you're not allowed to make waves, then somebody gets to dictate the truth. Now it's getting deep, but. Oh, man. (laughs) Wow. That, that got, that did. Anyway. Hopefully uh, you get smarter out there, village and my children. I'm not sure what just happened, but I felt the chill. I don't know if you felt it too. <laughs> that was a rogue wave coming through. Uh, Euripides? <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> Throwback. Anyways, we should probably find out where this uh, actually comes from. Oh, you want to do that? Let's do it. We have a job to do today? We do. All right. Well, let's get into it. I said some work. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? No. I turned around and looked behind Those words came from another mind Origins So this is not going to be the most lengthy of origin stories But uh, we know a few things We know that it dates back presum- You know, here's the funny thing The internet's a funny thing It is uh, Hilarious Where does this idiom come from? 
and site after site and quote after quote says it goes back to the 1900s. I'm like, so like a couple years ago? <laughs> right, it's really recent. And then you find references to the 60s. So I'm going to go with it goes back to at least the 60s. Uh, there is different, definitely a correlation with don't rock the boat, don't make waves, uh, it, it the ripple effect. Upset the apple cart. Yeah, upset the apple cart. I was trying to keep it water-based. Okay. But yeah, it's the... Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> So don't rock the boat ripple effect. Don't upset the apple cart. I did have that one down. I just avoided it. Um, but yeah, don't what, kicking the bee's nest. Mm-hmm. But that's all with the word don't in front of it. It seems like it's a negative thing. Whereas make waves could, could I'm gonna be make a good waves. thing. Like I'm going to change the world. I'm going to make waves. Are you? No, but <laughs> are you? It could have a. So here's a few things. I'll start with the simpler of the explanations of the origin so the oxford english dictionary has a citation from 1925 by kimbo which they add in brackets presumably a pseudonym real name unknown uh and here is the quote from tropical tales by kimbo 1925 back at the foul stinking bog potts heard himself hailed by the well-known voice of his late father hello sonny slip in gently for the lord's sake don't make any waves hmm that's the quote. So that goes back to 1925. So I think Kimbo sounds more like Forrest Gump in my brain. <laughs> so I said it goes back to the 60s because even though this is said in 1925 in print, be it's careful not when really... you get in the boat, Jenny. <laughs> Don't, Don't make, make any waves. waves. <laughs> Kimbo. <laughs> uh, this is not said so metaphorically. It's he's literally slipping into the water. So. Not really metaphorical, but it is what Oxford English Dictionary uh, quotes as an so early what, citation. So making waves, like I think things like sharks, where thing, the things that are attracted, that Lord of the Rings, don't disturb the still water, right. were things that are attracted to waves being made, like sharks or whatever creature was in Lord of the Rings. Yep. Yeah. The, the more you're flipping and flapping, the more you're attracting chaos. Yeah, I don't know if it's. Meant I wish that somebody way. would tell that one row of drunk spectators at the sports game to stop making waves. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I don't want to stand up anymore. Come on, section, <laughs> let's do it again. Come on, section, Woo! we'll get it going. Yeah, hey, we could do one. Okay, look at the camera. Okay, here we go. Woo! There it is. <laughs> we just did short. a wave. It's way better with two people. No, people are definitely. Saying, or we could do. Don't make the wave. Don't do the break dancing wave. Right. The okay. So here's um, here's more origin. So the catchphrase, this is not official. This is, I stumbled across this. And there were other people that said similar, similar things, but not in such detail. So this is, this is what I'm going with. Um, so the idiom making waves is the punchline, or don't make waves, is the punchline of an old joke um, that as I was reading this, I'm going to read it as, as I read it. I'm going to read it as I read it. Yeah, I'm, these aren't my words is what I'm saying. I'm got reading it. this. Um, but as I got closer to the supposed joke, I'm like, oh, I think I actually have heard that joke. So um, it's generally, we've already talked about the general use of this idiom. Let me skip skip ahead here. Some people equate it with rock the boat, blah, 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 blah. Uh, don't make wait, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, here's the joke, or here's... Um, lost my place don't make waves for example has its derivation explained by john bailey lloyd of beaches have in new jersey here's the uh joke supposed joke the soul of a debauchee have you ever heard that word no someone so, like, who i guess has so someone who's debaucherous is the debauchee the deb- debauchee and the person who had the debauchery upon them was debauch- debaucher the debaucher and the debauchee maybe interesting uh the soul of a debauchee Sounds like one of those little portable barbecues you take to the beach. (laughs) You cook your meat on the debauchee? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The soul of a debauchee arrives in hell, which also you could roast some weenies there. (laughs) The devil offers him the choice of one of three doors to enter and stay for eternity. It's like terrible Monty Hall. Okay. Yeah. From behind the first door comes the sound (laughs) of drinking and revelry. Okay. From the second, the sound of merriment. From the third, a chorus crying... Don't make waves. Curious, he chooses the third. The devil opens the door to a Dante-esque scene in which thousands of souls are standing up to their chins in foul muck and mire and fill in the blank, wailing to each new arrival, don't make waves. 
or you'll get it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she says, the person writing this is that it's all been shortened down to don't make waves comes from this joke from the sixties. Wow. Hmm. That seems like it's possible. It's possible. Don't make waves. Yeah. Well, at least there would be a reason I could, I could lend credence to that being an idiom. Cause then it actually has a secondary meaning, which doesn't mean what it means. Otherwise it means exactly what it means. Don't Whoa. Make, stop making waves. Or like, we're all going to eat crap. Yeah, well, as opposed to like, just if I said, "Well, don't make waves," like, you get it. You're in, you're in the kayak, and there's gators, and Dad says, "Dad, don't make waves." That when it actually means "don't make waves," as opposed to something that has a secondary meaning. Right, 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 right. Yeah, don't make the waves because you're gonna get a mouthful of crap. Is entirely different. Right. Would not have saw that coming. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I could, I could lend it. It's idiomatic credence to that. Otherwise, it's just a, a idiomatic statement. credence. That should be a t-shirt right there. <laughs> Idiomatic Credence Clearwater Revival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the, the gist of Origins poop, for poop, today. Poop, looking out my back door. Wow. I'm bringing boop, it all together. Boop, boop. I'm bringing it all together. Coming out my back door. <laughs> coming out my back door. <laughs> poop, 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 coming out my back door. <laughs> there it is. That's the that's, uh, Idiomatic we, Credence Cre- Clearwater Revival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So ridiculous. Well, uh, we should probably. Uh, is that the end of the. Yeah, that's it. That's all that, I got. I'm sorry a, I didn't have more. No, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty great order. Is that all you got? No, I'm just being mindful of the time. Those are those, those are good things. <laughs> no, because sometimes like. Oh, and then on. And uh, then also. And also this. And wait, on, don't on cut page me 17. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's it. That's the end. The end. Well, at least it's it's not like a hilarious joke, but it's. It's, a, it's got joke quality. Yeah, I've heard it. variations of that joke. Knock, knock, who's there? Guy who's up to his neck and turds. <laughs> Guy who's up to his neck and turds. Don't who? make the waves. <laughs> All right, should we In do it? In which case, making waves is bad. But yeah. yeah, sure. All right. Well, Riddle Link is a game we like to play. It takes a two-part trivia-based question. requires a two-part overlapping answer, overlapping by sound, syllable, word, or words. So for example... Last week, with our idiom "leave no stone unturned," we left you with "don't miss any rock in your don't miss any rocks in your search for this DJ Snake and Lil John song." Don't miss any rock in your search for this DJ Snake and Lil John I'm song. I'm gonna go no no stone unturned down for what? That's right. No leave, stone unturned. Turn, leave no stone unturned down for what? Turn, turn down for what? Yeah. So it's not leave no stone unturned. It's not turn down for what? It's leave no stone unturned down for what? And that's how you play Riddle Link. So before we finish, yeah. I was thinking, so if we have rogue waves, rogue holes, what's the in-between phase where it's just all jagged? Or just normal? Yeah. No, it's not it's normal. not rogue it's, at all. It's, it's, it's waves. It's scully ocean. <laughs> yeah. Half crooked. Okay, okay. I've got two prepared. Wow. <laughs> I've got two. Okay. With extended arms... Shaking palms toward the audience goes Chewbacca's captain. With extended arms, shaking palms towards the audience goes Chewbacca's captain. What? Okay. With extended arms, shaking palms towards the audience. Oh, okay. okay. Goes Chewbacca's captain. It's got to be jazz hand solo? Yes. Okay. I just didn't get the word jazz. I'm like, what? With extended arms? Yeah. Jazz, jazz hand, hands. Jazz hand solo. Jazz hand like solo. It. Jazz Han Solo. Uh, okay, I got one. Okay. Uh, this giant wave is how Jane's jungle boyfriend introduces himself. This giant oh, wave title. is how Jane's jungle boyfriend introduces himself. But you used the word wave, so I would, don't think it's tidal wave. What's another word for that? Yeah. Tsunami Tarzan, you Jane? Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Tsunami Tarzan. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. That's a good. Okay, good. That's a good. <laughs> wave of the future. Okay, go good. Wave of the future. I've got give me, a give, give me another okay. one. Give me another one. Uh, I'm on uh, a roll. Ben Stiller dates Cameron Diaz, who are both second cousins to Frodo Baggins. Uh, do it again. Ben Stiller dates Cameron Diaz, who are both second cousins to Frodo Baggins. Is it something about Meriwether? Oh, I, I, I'll give it to you. What is it? 
Uh, so I was going with both of them are second cousins. Ben Stiller, Kevin Diaz. So there's something about Mary and Pippin. Mary, I just couldn't think of the name. But it's like Mary Brandybuck or something. And there, yeah, that Merryweather thing, there's something in there. I, okay. You're on the right track. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I just didn't know the actual name. So. Yep, there's something about Mary and Pippin. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Which is way, yeah, that would be a different mashup of movies. Yeah, Little Lord of the Rings and something about Mary. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> Anyways. That's funny. So, Village Legitimate Children, we got the fourth and final one coming up, and we would love to hear your input. Uh, reach out to us on Instagram at the.village.idiom or email us the Village Idiom Podcast at gmail.com or whether it's the Facebook, the YouTubes, or the X at three minutes gone. Perfect. Here it is. You ready for this? Yep. I think you'll like it. Tyson's boxing nickname will heat up my food. Tyson's boxing nickname will heat up my food. <laughs> and that is three minutes gone. That's a good you got one. It right away, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's a good one. The illegitimate children should be uh, able to pick that one up pretty quick. Beauty. It's good. Beauty. Well, illegitimate kids, we love you. <laughs> we really do. On the we inside. don't love any one of you more than the other. No, we love all the illegitimate children the same. That's correct. And I know your father and I have told you that individually we love you, but there is one of you that we love more than the other. <laughs> And you just have to figure it out. we'll just leave that dangle and wing out there. <laughs> I'm skinny. <laughs> I'm Jurassic Park. And these are the village idioms. Let's see if you like this one. Here it comes. Ready? Right here. That's three minutes gone.